Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a couple of unboxings for you guys. And what I have is my Ipsy, as well as my Birchbox. And usually I do these videos separate where I unbox the two different boxes, but I have been getting a lot of requests to do them together and do kind of like a battle of the boxes sort of thing where I tell you guys which one out of the two I liked better for that month. So that's what I'm going to be doing this month. Um, if you're interested in seeing that, please keep watching. Now, I do want to say first, I have a little confession, and that is that I did peek online at my birch box. I don't know if you guys know, you can search, or they give, they send you like a link at some point during the month saying, hey, if you want to see what's in your box, click on this link and I'll show you. And the only reason I did that is because um, I had found out that they were giving away beauty blenders this month, and I had just purchased one like just a couple days before I received that email and I hadn't used it yet so I wanted to be able to return it if I was getting the beauty blender so I'm not gonna tell you guys if I'm getting the beauty blender or not but you will see when I do my unboxing since I did peek I will do my birch box first but I will say I don't remember anything that was in there because this was like weeks ago except for one item <laughs> so here we go so when I open it up, initially I have three cards here. The first one is from Benefit. It looks like you can get a free professional primer deluxe size sample um, if you order from their website. And then something from Rent the Runway, uh, $30 off of $75. And then your typical card that you get with each box that shows every item that you're getting as well as what the full size item is going to cost you. So let's get into the box. Here is the tissue paper and when we open it up, all of our goodies, do you guys see? Do you guys see? <laughs> I did get the Beauty Blender. I was so excited. Um, so that's the first thing I'll show you. The Beauty Blender with the little cleanser in there. This retails for $25. This is the one that I had purchased just a few days before um, before I found out that I was getting it. So I was able to return it before I used it, which was awesome. So saved myself $25 and I got it in Birchbox, which is amazing. Love it. This is probably my favorite thing I've ever gotten in a subscription box, although I haven't used it. So I guess maybe I can't say that, but initially first impression or whatever. <laughs> okay. So the next thing is a body wash from Spa Therapy, Gilchrist and Soames. I've never heard of this brand, but it is just a body wash. Um, I do use body wash daily when I shower, so I guess that's a good thing, right? The next thing is Blemish, Clear Blemish Clearing Cleanser, and it is from Juice Beauty, so, and it's organic. I feel like I get something organic in almost every box. Um, I don't know if this, I think it's just like a daily type of cleanser. Yeah, it's just a daily type of cleanser. Um, again, cleanse my face every single day so that's something that I use and will probably use this. Okay so now for this little box in here let's see what we got. The first thing is a conditioner from Be Kind. I typically don't like things that come in these little packages like this. I don't use them um, but maybe if I stick this in my shower I'll use it. I just got the conditioner not a shampoo to go with it but that's okay. I have very dry hair and go through conditioner very fast. And then the very last thing that was in that little box is Read My Lips Lip Gloss from The Balm. And here it is here. It's just a little sample size one. Let me put my box down first. Okay. And then do a swatch for you. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, so it's a very um, pretty, ooh, it smells good too. It's a very, not this, don't look at this right here. Look at this one. It's very creamy, very smooth, and a very wearable pink kind of mauve color. So definitely something that I tend to gravitate towards, and I will definitely wear that. So I have to say, Beauty Blender, lip gloss, super, super excited for those. Absolutely love them. I think I told you guys in my last video, I do prefer makeup items. So you can tell from this video, these I was like, okay, yeah, I'll use them, but not super exciting. But everything that I got, I will use, which is way better than my previous boxes that I've gotten from Birchbox. Okay, now let's move on to Ipsy. Let's go ahead and pull out, let's see, the first thing I have is a card here. 
that says Ipsy Love. It's just their typical card. It's not like Birchbox. They don't list the items that you're getting on the back. So I usually don't even read that card. And then our little bag is this right here. I think it's super cute. It's just got like a little diamond type shape and then it's pink on the back. I do think it's really cute. It looks like there's some oil stains on the front of it up here though. I don't think you guys can see it on camera. That's kind of sad, but it's all right. Okay, the first item is, oh, and that's where the oil's coming from. There's oil all over this little container as well. I'm guessing it leaked, um, but it smells good at least. <laughs> it's the Eva NYC Volumizing Spray. So I'm assuming this is something that I spray on my roots and it'll give me more volume. That is great for me. I don't, you guys can probably tell my hair is very flat on top and then like I have a lot of volume on the bottom. So something that might give me more volume on top is awesome. I've actually been looking for a volumizing spray. So maybe I'll love this and maybe I can get the full size. So the next thing I got is an eyelash curler. Um, here it is here. Uh, I typically don't use eyelash curlers because my eyelashes are just naturally curly. It just makes my eyelashes look crazy, like way, way, way too curly because they are naturally curly. So I don't use them. But lately I have been thinking that I might like to try again and see if I still hate my lashes curled or maybe I like it now. So I was going to go get one and now I don't have to because I got one in here. So that's awesome. Okay, the next thing is a creamy lip stain from City Colors. And this is very, very pink. Um, I can't wear super pink stuff because it looks kind of weird on me. So I'm not gonna open this and swatch it for you guys because I will probably pass it on to somebody else. And the next thing is this blush from Model Co. I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you guys. Mm, it does look very pink too like baby pink type stuff or Barbie pink type stuff. I just can't do it. I'll show you guys the swatch right here. I hope you guys can see it. It's not gonna look good on me. That color, it's just not, not flattering at all for me. So that's another one that I will probably pass on. And the very last thing is Mitchell and Peach Fine Radiance Face Oil. And it's just a little sample size as well. Let me open it and see if I can smell it. Okay, it smells like perfume. Okay, I don't know how to open it. I'm not sure how to open it. <laughs> but I guess it's an oil that you put on your face. It says you can use it alone or under moisturizer. So I'm assuming it's just you put it on your skin before you do your makeup or I guess on its own like it says and it'll give you maybe a nice glow. It's a radiance oil. So it sounds like something that'll give you a glow. I always, always love to have glowy skin. I always add a highlighter. You know what? I think I forgot highlighter today. I did. I forgot highlighter today. But normally, I do put on a highlighter as well as like a luminizing base underneath my foundation. So that is, I think, something that I will definitely use. So pretty much out of this kit, I'm, I love the eyelash curler. I'll Hopefully, we'll see. I'm going to try it. I've been wanting one. So yeah, hopefully I like it. Um, and then the, the radiance oil, I like that, I'll try that. And the volumizing spray, I will definitely try and hopefully it'll give me some volume to my hair, which I need at the top for sure. The lip gloss and blush, I can't use at all. They're just not my color. So I really only have three items that I'll use, maybe two if I hate the eyelash curler. So I have to say that surprisingly, very surprisingly, Birchbox won this month. That is insane to me. Never in a million years would I have thought the Birchbox would have won. If you guys saw my video last week or last month, I had said that I was giving Birchbox one more chance. And if they didn't do a good job this month, I was giving them up completely because I just didn't like them at all. And this month they win. So Ipsy, sorry, you lose. I'm sorry. Just and I mean, honestly, if I'm being honest, I would have loved these two products if they were my color. So I guess they're both good boxes in general, but for me personally, Birchbox killed it this month. So that is what I thought about my boxes this month and who I thought won. If you guys got both boxes, let me know which one won for you. Or if you get any of these subscription services, I would love to see 
what you guys got in your boxes versus what I got in my box. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.